back. And you might have noticed that we're no longer a man. Yes, this is now Resident Evil starring Jill Valentine's luscious buttocks. Yeah, because you see, we realized that we don't have any idea what the fuck we're doing with Resident Evil, so uh, we went and found out that fuck Chris Res- Redfield. Mm. Oh. <laughs> man. Yeah. Stab. Nah. So anyway, yeah, we uh, we changed characters. Um, the difference is now we're a lady and we can carry more items. We can carry more items and... Um, Barry with his giant hand cannon will come to our aid. Yeah, the intro is slightly different. Uh, Chris has gone missing now instead of Barry. Barry and Jill both go check out the dining room. Wesker disappears when they get back. Now Barry has gone off to search the dining room again, and Jill is going to go check the other door. Okay. No, you're not. Okay. Because I have the walkthrough. Yes. we're not going to fuck around. We're not fucking around. Also, we changed it to easy mode so we get more ink ribbons just for the sake of making it easier to make episodes instead of being like, well, this one has to be 45 minutes because we don't want to, you know, spend an ink ribbon here and la di da di do also we're bad at this game and by we i mean me because yeah. i'm playing yeah i'm running the uh the instructions i also changed the controls back to the classic style i like the alternate version better except during these the little camera transitions really get fucky if you're on the alternate controls <laughs> It's a little, it takes a little bit of getting used to on the original control scheme, but once you do, it works a lot better with the camera. Go figure. This it's almost like they meant for it to be that way. This game is really pretty. Yes. It is the high definition remaster. All right. Well, <coughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the dining hall and head through the door where you face the first zombie. To the dining room. Spooky. Spooky Duke. I'm spooking, man. Okay, so go back to where that Zambi was chewing on Kenneth. Oh, Kenneth? Barry, where art thou? Um, I don't know. Uh, I can't answer the phone right now, Dad. You seem to be buzzing. Yeah, it's my cell phone. <laughs> It's actually his butt vibrator. Okay, so search his body. Oh. Looks like he's holding the thing. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. Yeah. What, wait, what film? Did he have a camera? I guess so. Wasn't he the guy that got attacked by dogs out in the woods? Yeah, I guess he made it inside after getting attacked by dogs. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, there's probably a zombie down that hallway. I'm leaving. Um, there's handgun ammo in this room. Oh, yes. I know where we are. Um, yeah. Handgun ammo. And then collect those two herbs. Collectifying. And this time we don't have to use them because we haven't had a nips chewed on. Yeah. Because uh, we found out combat in Resident Evil 1 is a no-no. You are trying to survive the horror, not kill the horror. Also, didn't it say something about combining these? Um, yeah. Yes. Now we have mixed herbs, everyone. Mixed herbs. Okay. Um. Where to, Captain? <clears throat> I'll uh, check out I'm, these stirs. Sorry, this thing's real slow. Head upstairs and through the door. Hey, look, we're doing that. You'll see a corpse immediately in front of you. Ignore it. Ignoring. Head towards the mirror and stand right next to it facing the camera. See the zombie in the mirror? Uh-huh. He's waiting to ambush you just off the frame. Raise your gun and shoot until he drops once, and then rush past and up the hall. Grab the golden arrow and the handgun magazine. Oh, shit. Shoot him. Now run past him. Yeah. You gotta grab the golden arrow and the handgun magazine at the end of the hallway. That arrow. Okay. Um, I will take the golden arrow. Ooh. I know how to do this. 
Um, there should be a handgun ammunition. There it ah, is. Ah, yes. Get that ammo. Got this ammo. Be wary of a second zombie hiding just off rim to your left. That way, there is a. There's going to be another zombie. If you're uh, careful, you can lure him into a lunge and then rush past his shoulder, dodging a second grab. This technique is great for ammo saving. I unlocked this door. Um, is this going to spit you out on a balcony? I will tell you in a moment. Yes. There's a Zambo over there. I think we're above the dining room. He hangs around up here. Grab a dagger nearby. At the far end of the balcony is a statue holding a blue gem. Ooh, oh, hey, a dagger. Do we want to go get the statue and push it over and whatnot? Yeah, push it push it to open the rail and then off the balcony's edge so it breaks on the floor. Yeah. Don't head downstairs to grab it just now. There's plenty of time for that later. Okay. Good lord. We got this. Don't worry, man. We can do it. I believe in us. Although you reading the guide and me just following what you're doing is going to make for a very boring show. Yeah. Maybe don't give me such micromanaged directions. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're working on this, folks. A it's stained hard to... glass window. The pattern resembles a lady. Mm. Yeah, we're trying to balance being fairly entertaining without uh, grinding ourselves into a wall for 30 minutes. Look at that dipshit wandering around. Hi, guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Run away, man. I just wanted to play Ring Around the Rosie with him. Ring Around the Rosie. Pockets full of shit. Okay, so we are upstairs now. Where am I headed to next, senor? Um, you want to go to the crypt. The crypto. That is outside? Um... There's a small yeah. There's a small door, and that'll take you outside. Apparently, that uh, arrow you picked up, if you examine it, it becomes just an arrow head, which is a key, which is the door to the crypt. Opens the door to the crypt. Uh, yeah, man. It was, uh. The arrow head looks like it can be it can be removed, which we did. It's made from peridot. Or is it peridot? Yeah. Uh, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. My emerald. Oh, cool. So the the ammo magazine can hold more than just 15. Yeah, it must just represent spare ammo. Nice. Okay. I don't like this garden. I really don't like this garden. Yes, yeah, well, it's a cemetery. Well, that's why I don't like it. I think that's the crypt over there with the... the ooh, what's this? Can you open that? It's locked from the other side. Jill. <clears throat> we. Yeah, fuck it. Let's leave. I'm gone. <laughs> Just run out the back. Sorry, Barry. Sorry, Chris. See you a little later, guys. Just get out to the road and fucking hit your ride with the next truck you see and go home. Yep. I'm moving to San Francisco where there's no Zambos. Uh, <laughs> that was necessary. A tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Bloop! Hooray! <laughs> oh, good. Who wants to go in the spooky tomb? You do. Oh. <laughs> um, so even though we have a walkthrough we're both doing this blind we have no idea what's in these rooms uh so let's what see. fucking language is that shit a stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be oh <laughs> good oh this has got to open like holes where the eyes nose and mouth should be this has got to be the fucking thing to open like a really later area a stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. Because it looks like you need a lot of keys. A hole where the mouth should be. So we got mouth, nose, eyes, and then all three on that second one. 
So there should be... What the fuck is all this? Yeah! Looks as if they'll overtake you any moment now. What the um, fuck is that shit? Is there anything there? A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Uh, um, Cause it looks like there's a big like slam down kill me thing up there. Wait, um Yeah, you need to flip that book over. There's something on the underside of it that we want. But I can't take it, right? Um yeah, I guess take it. And then put it back once we flip it over, so examine it. Uh huh. There's a key on the back cover. Yeah. The mansion key. Cool. What do the Book of Curses say? The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil, sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Oh, good. So I guess we can put that... Uh... We're gonna go ahead and put it back... An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Yeah, put the book back here. Oh, the book's gone. Oh, well, then I guess we got the key we wanted. Uh, please don't fall on me, big thing. Oh. You just get fucking squeeze. Squeeze. Yeah, it's like some witch's house shit. Kagoosh. That was a fun game. Yeah, that was really good. I'd like to see if there's some other RPG Maker games out there. Yeah, I want to see uh, who made that one. Maybe whoever made that one has made some other stuff. Maybe they made like a zombie house or something. I didn't like the ending to Witch's House. So good. It was evil. I didn't like it. It's dark. It's a total downer ending. It was a downer ending. It's not even a bittersweet ending. It was just a total downer ending. Okay. Um. So we hmm. have a mansion key now. Yeah, take the double doors on the east side across from the dining room. Da, 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 dun, 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 Trying to not dun. be too instructional, but we also don't want to wander around and die because then we would have to start totally over. Yes. So it's kind of a it's a hard thing to juggle, seeing as our oh, hey. I know what to do here. Saves is so limited. Do we want to get the shiny thing in the pot? Uh, yes. You can push the dresser. Yeah, climb up and grab the map. Apparently, there's a map in that thing, and it said don't go too far down that hallway. What's in that hallway? Probably bad shit. Probably zombos. <laughs> Zambezels. Zamboobles. Zimdizops. Zimbabwe's? Map of the Mansion 1F. Yay! We got the map. We got the map. We got the map. 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 That's a big fucking place. This is only the first floor. Yay! Oh, good. Yes. Okay. So, um, I guess, so we don't want to go down that hallway? Looks uh, like there's a little spooky secret room at the end of that hallway. Um, is this thing locked up? Uh, what do you, oh, yes, probably. Oh, hey, a mansion key opens this door. Perhaps you would do better getting that guide on your phone. Yeah, because this thing pretty much doesn't work. Yeah. We were trying to use my old uh, Nexus 7 tablet, but it turns out when something is about four years old... It, it just doesn't work at all. Yeah, you might as well just throw it away. Oh, what the fuck is that? Um. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. Done with this. <laughs> nah man you gotta go down this hallway there's stuff in there I don't like this wait the other hallway uh, well, I don't know where you I looked down for a second I am here Um. well now you've gone past where your thing locked up on me and I gotta uh, wait to find it so why don't you uh, look around give it, a, give it a shot there I don't wanna look around <laughs> do you see that the fucking outside window like cracked oh good it probably means there's something coming to get you. Man. It's going to get you. Don't say that. It's going to 
eat you up. <laughs> it, it might. <laughs> what are we pushing here? Is there something behind it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Ammunition. Ammunition. Cool. Well, fuck that hallway forever. Um, I'm never going back in there ever again if I can avoid it. It's a spooky hallway and I don't like it. Hi, Jill. How's it going, Jill? Okay. Take that door. I used the lock pick. Yeah, that's the other thing that makes Jill easier is... Uh, she gets a lock pick. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Redfield looks hard. Oh, good. Yeah, no. See you later. Hey, look, fertilizer. It's, uh, is that something you can interact with? or I'm um, certainly trying. Well, there's a shitload of herbs. Dog. Yeah, I don't know if you need to take all these or not. I'm not going to, but I'm going to take two and combine them, I think. Yeah, because that's a full heal. <clears throat> uh, we'd yeah. Mixed herbs. Yeah. So now we got an almost full heal and a 100% heal. We're doing pretty good. Got about 50, 60 rounds. Six ink ribbons. A mansion key. I'll we'll have to find an item box pretty soon. Yeah. A boiler. The humidity has caused it to rust. Looks like a... There's that. still plenty of kerosene left. Ooh. Yeah, We're you, you're going to need that. Yeah, you're going to need that at some point. So we read online that um, if you kill a zombie and you leave it there long enough, it becomes a crimson skull, which is like a big badass zombie. Uh, do we want to take the chemical to use on plants? Um, I can't seem to get back to where I was. <laughs> and your thing is fucking dead. All right. Well, I guess I'm on my own. Yeah, for the moment. I'm going to keep uh, dangling with this. It became a true survival horror. Okay, I'm back to the right page. I just got to get down to it. What's in this door? Probably nothing good. It looks all scratched up and horrible. <clears throat> oh, it's a bathroom. Hey, look, a toothbrush. Oh, dude, there's something in that fucking tub. I fucking know it. I haven't, I'm not even reading that. I just know there's something in that fucking tub. There has to be. It's going to grab you. Remove the plug? Yeah, remove the plug. Fuck, no, I'm not removing the plug. It's going to be a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Got to take a piss. Doesn't look like it's been serviced at all. Doesn't look like it's been serviced, but there's fresh toilet paper everywhere. Yeah, there's going to be a damn zombie in here. Let's do it. Remove the plug. Get attacked by the zombie. Oh, God. At least there was a chain on the plug so you didn't have to reach in there. Oh, look. There was a zombie in there. <laughs> well. Is this all cutscene? Yeah. Huh. I think so. Oh. Gross. Yeah, that's nasty. That's how I sound when I throw up. Wah! I have vomited. We're just gonna make sure that this motherfucker's gonna stay down. Oh, hey, look, there's a dagger in there. How about you just stay down, motherfucker? Huh? It's what you get for coming at me! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that was worth it. Oh, yeah, you do need to get the chemical, I guess. Does it say where an item box is? Because we're running out of space. Chemical's going to be the last thing we can pick up. Hmm. I'll go back and get it. <clears throat> um, actually, never mind. Kay. We'll get it in a second. All right. Head through the next door? Or this next small room? There should be... There's a little tiny room. Yeah, go into that tiny room. Mm. 
What's in this room? I think I've took, taken you to the right place. I hope so. Ah, uh, this doesn't look right. There's an Umbrella Corp logo on the floor. Oh, hey, look, a wall print thing. But it's probably some kind of cryptic-ass hint. No, it's not letting me... Uh, it's not acknowledging it as a thing. This is a really cool room. What room is this? Art room. Totally not a secret passage of some sort. I bet that's an elevator or some kind of crazy contraption. Goes to the lab. There's a ooh type Ink of, ribbon. Yeah. And the shotgun's on the wall. Oh. Something's tickling my brain about the shotgun. Yeah, it's a trap. Uh do we want to get yes. that? Yes, it, yes you do. An acrid smell permeates the air. It's pot. Getting high in here. Uh, yes. Yeah, all right. You grab that dagger? Dagger? Oh, hey, dagger. Man, I got three of them bitches now. Hell yeah. Come at me, zombies. Oh, yeah, we're about to get smashed in this room, huh? Um... There was a typewriter in that room. Was there? Yeah. Oops. Hope we don't need that. Uh, we'll probably be okay. Check the yeah, check the door. Uh, check the other door. Check the other door. Other door. Working on it. <laughs> oh God! What did I do now? <laughs> uh, kick the What's door that? down. Here we go. Thank God, Barry's here. Stand back. Shit. My hands. Go. Jesus, Barry. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, oh. He pulled it off, man. At least he Barely. pulled it off. Okay. Close one. Barry. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. Now get them pants off and let's make a sandwich. Did you say you were going back to the dining man. room to find other clues? A man sandwich. All, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching. I found a note. Chris. Suspicious. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. What a great guy. Barry, you suspicious as shit. Uh, might be a good time to save. You sh should be able to go... Oh, uh, I can't go back to that room. You can't go back. You should. Do we need to go all the way back to the other typewriter room area? Uh, thing? Well, I guess that means... That's the only uh, typewriter option now, huh? Okay, well, never mind. We will press on. Press on, press on. Um, yeah, go down the hallway the other direction. Back the way you were going, I guess. We press on. We press on. Though we die, la resistance lives on. Um... Hmm. hmm. So that looks like it goes over to some stairs. But it also looks like there's a locked door later on down this hallway, right, Chaw? It's, it's locked. locked. We need the Spencer family emblem. Hmm. Who designed this fucking mansion? This shit's nuts. Oh, shit. Zambo. Cheesing it. All right. Um, hmm. So there is a zombizzle at the end of that hallway. I'm so glad I learned how to do the 180 degree turn. Cheese. Are you going to go into the door, the first one on your right, or are we going down to the door on the far end at the left? I think we'll go into the door on the right. Since there's a zombie waiting around that corner. <laughs> God damn zombies. God damn zombies. <laughs> yeah, these zombies are bastards. Um... Okay, you'll appear at the... Sorry. 
I knew it. Um, Do I need to go up these stairs or something? Uh, man, go. Yeah, you need to go around the thing. <clears throat> uh, there should be. You gotta if you can dodge him. You need. Wait. Did it? Dodged him. What uh, no, the door behind him. Down ah, there. piss. Yeah, that's why you needed to dodge him, and it mentioned it being a bastard. If you can gun him down, it says to do so, but... Um... Shit, there's more of them? Yeah, there's bastards in here. There's a do should be a door right there. Yeah, we want to go in that door. There should be an item box and a typewriter in here. I see a typewriter. And an item box. Huzzah! Yes, um, and there's a kerosene flask. Ooh... Nice. And we Shit got on. fucking 15 ink ribbons, so we can make our first save. All right, fuck the knife. Well, no, I want the knife in case I got to make sure something's dead. So what do we leave in the backs? Probably don't need the shotgun. Mm. We'll put that back, too. Gives us three. Do we need the mansion key? Um, Probably. Let's see. Yeah, it says to have at least three empty item slots. Well, we got that. I'm really not... The knife is good for checking to see if something's dead on the ground, but we're trying not to kill stuff right now, so I might leave the knife. Yeah. We got 70 rounds for the gun. Yeah. Um, Grab ink ribbons. Oh, yes. It says just to have at least three, so we're good now. Um, I would say it's, uh, fill the flask and then st stick it in the item box, too. The flask... Will you take the fuel canteen? Hell yes. yes. There should be, a, and there's bullets on the top of that thing. Refill your fuel canteen? Yes. Okay. About a half of the kerosene still remains. Cool. Sweet. Um, yeah, there's bullets on top of that. The warm light makes you relax. Well, that's good, but give me the bullets. Hooray! All right. Let's stick the fuel canteen in the item box and then save the game. We are ammoed up, son. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now we will save and bounce on out. Ah, sorry, buddy. There we go. Actually, you know, we're just about to the time to head out to Yawn Lobby. All right. Being as we have to work around the save system in this game, um, we're going to go ahead and step out to the lobby, and when you join us next, hopefully we have a little bit better idea what the fuck we're doing. Um, again, this game, uh, even though it's an HD remaster, is very much from another time, so we're getting the hang of it. It's an evil game. Yes. Yeah, it <laughs> wants you to die. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a game that actively hates you and will punish you if you forget what you're doing. I think it's more emphasis on the survival aspect. Like, you're supposed to get to rooms like this, stash your shit, plan it out, run from room to room, basically. Yeah, it's very much something from another era. Enter the survival horror. I like, uh, I think I like survival horror where you don't have an option to fight. I don't like that. I kind of like the whole, uh... <laughs> She was uh, she was a backup dancer for Michael Jackson before she joined Stars. <laughs> We're just gonna do the whole game like this. We will. Um, no wonder nobody wants to run around with her. They go off on their own. Nah, yeah. I don't want to be with Jill. She's fucking weird. Yeah. Well, um, we'll see you next episode, guys. <laughs> Till later. Bye.